Hello everyone, Tiara here with Luna Fay Creations. Thanks so much for tuning in to another soap making adventure. Today's soap is the final soap in the July shop update, so that means there is a release today. We'll get to that. Let's talk a little bit about where the idea for today's soap came from. The theme was inspired by a random purchase of a fragrance oil on Wholesale Supplies Plus called Nantucket Briar. The picture was pretty, what can I say? So when I finally got it in the mail, it sat on my shelf for a little bit, and then I was like, what am I gonna do with this? Pinterest, I love Pinterest. She finds so many ideas on Pinterest and things to inspire. Nantucket, I had never been to the place. I had never looked it up or known anything about it. I know it exists. I did not know that it was an island, and I did not know it was so super gorgeous. So that has just changed the idea for the soap 100%. It is themed around Nantucket. If you guys have been there, let me know what you think. But from what I could tell, I fell in love with the place and I cannot wait to go visit. So they are known for their cedar shingle houses, the lighthouses, the rolling ocean, and the hydrangeas. They are known for their hydrangeas in the summer. So that is where all the soap kind of like got its inspiration from, is from this cute little island that I really want to go to. So. It is available in today's shop update alongside the ice cream cones with little mesh poofs on top. I made little cupcake ones as well. There's sunstone, bonfire nights, berry watermelon, and today's Nantucket briar. It is also a, a dupe of an Evelyn and Crabtree fragrance, but again, it had nothing to do with how the soap came out. If you guys are interested in that, then you might like this soap. I don't know if it smells similar or not. I'm just reading what uh, the description says. But now, where did I put that baby? Oh, where's this baby? I found him. I found a nine month old Sebastian. Holy moly guys, time is sure flying. Tell him. I got two T's <laughs> and I go around saying da 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 and growling, yeah, yeah. Fake laughing, fake coughing, <laughs> pulling himself up. <laughs> He's too much. He's too much. He's got his dinner all over him. Got two teeth and two more coming in. He's just getting so big. So big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So today's soap is available in the Etsy shop. I will leave the link down below in the description box. Feel free to hit that thumbs up button during any time of this video. Tell them, hit that thumbs up. Give my mama a thumbs up. <laughs> or subscribe if you haven't done so already. You need a nap, a nap. Questions or comments, I'm all ears. Leave them in the comment section down below as well. You see the fan up there? And Mama's necklace. Yay! I love this boy. <laughs> Let's get to making some soap. soap release let's go so I have some of my goat milk powder dissolved in a little bit of water to create a little slurry and I'm going to add that to my oils first and mix that in and then from there I'm going to whisk my lye solution in so whisking it in because I want to do some angled layers for the soap and I don't want it to all be at the same trace and set up at the same time while I'm waiting in between each layer for it to set up. So let's give this a whisk and make sure I can get it all mixed together, incorporated, and then we'll split this off. I'm going to do three different colors. So we'll pour off the first layer add color and fragrance, and then we'll get that to trace and start pouring. I'm gonna split off this first layer. Now, what I really wanted to do is 
evenly split this off, but I do not feel like doing dishes and weighing things right now, so I'm just gonna eyeball it. And if it's not, if each layer isn't like perfectly measured out and even, I am not going to be upset about it. It'll be just, it's part of the design. So the first layer, I think I want to do, again, I'm thinking this out right now. I wanna do some gray. This is a neutral gray by Nurture Soap. And I want to kind of emulate the colors that I saw in the pictures when I looked up Nantucket. There's lots of like shingled houses, like cedar shingled houses. It's a very seaside. Um, there's just flowers everywhere and it just looks like a very quaint place. So we're gonna add a little bit of titanium dioxide to that. I want these colors to be very neutral, very pastel looking. And I'm going to give this a mix. So another reason why I decided to start with whisking this is because the fragrance I'm using is, it, it's kind of floral and I'm afraid it might thicken my soap batter. It is called Nantucket Briar and is by Crafter's Choice. It's supposed to be a Crabtree and Evelyn dupe and I have not smelled any of those fragrances so I don't know but it's very floral and it is ricing. Wholesale Supplies Plus said it accelerated. So I tried to take the correct steps in order to avoid that, but as you can see, I'm gonna have to just put the stick blender through this anyway, which is okay since it's not too thick of a tray. So let's get those little ricey bits out of there and quickly pour this. All right, it is not my fault this time the camera turned off on me. Not only did this fragrance lie to me, <laughs> The camera did too. It told me I had two batteries, two battery bars left, and that was not the case. It turned off on me. So I did pour in that gray on an angle, and now I'm going to mix up a layer of white and pour that in at an angle. And then I'm going to mix up a layer of blue and then top off for that final layer. So let's see what I can get done not having a good day right now. Nothing wants to go my way. So the final layer, which will be the largest, is going to be sky blue. Also a Nurture Soap fragrance with a little bit of titanium dioxide. Give that a mix and then uh, pour that in. And then I'm going to charge my camera while I get the icing whipped up. Time to decorate the top of this and hopefully this is charged enough. I just mixed up like five different colors, which is another reason why I did not want to dirty any more some dishes. I have some Love Song pink and some titanium dioxide and a open star tip. And that Love Song is by Nurture. I also have, and I'm just kind of going along with things here, this is a Luster Violet by Workshop Heritage, also with some titanium dioxide, and an open star tip. So I think what I'm trying to do here is just to add a little bit of piping on top of this to look like hydrangeas, just clusters of hydrangeas. And I'll do some leaves on here as well. So my favorite color hydrangea, I think, would have to be blue and then the purple. But since I did the blue on the inside, I decided to go with pink and purple. I got a little crooked there, but it's fine because we're just gonna pile all of this together on top of each other, like so. We're only doing the piping on this one side. 
and then the leaves will go down here. So I should have known better with that fragrance. I even looked at the reviews. It had like five stars. I was like, all right, this I got this. I'm prepared. Well, <laughs> made a fool of me, but it has lots of floral notes in it. I got to just point that out. Even though it says orchid on it and it just has that one floral or flower in it, it smells very, very floral to me. <laughs> I don't really pick up the patchouli or the musk or the bergamot. It just smells like flowers. It's a very like seaside beachy floral, but yeah, it, there's still floral notes to that and it lots of floral notes behave in such a way. So it got me. So I'm just going to continue to go about adding these piping bits all over here. So if you've ever been to Nantucket, I need some pointers because I looked it up. Give me some advice. If you've ever been, what are some places to go, things to do, whatever to see? Because the next time I plan a trip to Massachusetts, I am going. It looked so beautiful when I looked up the pictures and I knew it was a place that one day I would have to go visit. And the pictures that I'm, I am going to post for inspiration, you'll see. You're gonna wanna go to, it's just so pretty. I never even imagined it would be so beautiful. So, but maybe we'll do just a few over here. Just mix it up a bit. I like it, and I think that's all I'm gonna do on that. And then I'm gonna go back and do the same thing over here. I miss my hydrangeas, you guys. Since we've moved, I don't have my hydrangea bushes anymore. I left them at the old house and I'm gonna to have to get some more. I do have a whole bunch of other things going on. I've mentioned there was an azalea bush growing out front. It finally bloomed. And it took forever. I was so mad at it. I really don't like azaleas. I don't know why I have this pain body about them. They remind me of some part of my childhood that I just, I, I guess it wasn't my favorite. Um, it's just a memory of them and I don't like them. And I had this one out front and it took forever to bloom. I'm like seeing all the neighbors and just driving down the street and everyone else has got their azaleas blooming in the front yard. And I'm like, what is wrong with this bush? It needs to go. I don't, I don't know why it's not blooming. I just want to know what color it is, please. And it finally bloomed, y'all. And it is the most spectacular looking azalea I have ever seen. It is not your typical... Every day you see driving down the street, azalea. It is gorgeous. It has these big blooms on them and they look like a watercolor or a hibiscus. There's some hybrid about them, like a rhododendron and azalea got together. They're gorgeous and I am so happy. And it's a late bloomer and I'm fine with that. Everyone can have their azaleas blooming. In the early spring, mine is blooming, and it is June. It's crazy. How do you like those leaves? I dig it. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this guy. I'm gonna give this a little bit of glitter, and then I'll spray it with some rubbing alcohol to avoid any soda ash. I'll come back in 24 hours, and we'll cut it and see what the inside looks like. and see what we got. Let's see, let's see. I love the top of this and there is the inside. So I see a little bit of discoloration in that white 
The fragrance said it had 1% Vaseline, but the specification said there was no discoloration. I'm not mad about it. It's not that noticeable. <laughs> and unless I would have said something, no one would have noticed. There's the top of it. Can, can, can you focus? Focus. Okay, don't. Yeah. It smells really good. And after all that trouble I had with the camera and the fragrance oil, you would never would have known that either by looking at the soap. I think it turned out exactly how I imagined it. And I'm loving these colors. I'm getting the whole Nantucket look in here, like this, the cedar shingles, the water, the lighthouses, the flowers. I think this embodies it. Not that I've ever been, but if I were to go, and imagine what it was like. <laughs> this is what I think of. So, love the little hydrangea top and the glitter. And you guys, when I got done filming this, I went to go put some glitter away and I knocked over those stacks of bio glitter that I have on my shelf and I lost glitter everywhere. Now, I wasn't sure if I wanted to cry because, like, you know, that's money all over the floor that I just wasted, or the fact that I had to clean glitter up all over the place. Now, you guys know how hard it is to clean glitter up. No joke. I wanted to cry. <laughs> so, it is what it is. But I just took the remainder of the glitter and I just, I threw it all on top of the soap. There's like five different kinds of glitter on this because I didn't want to waste any of it. Just knock, knocking over glitter, having fragrance oils in this behave. It was just a fun, fun time. <laughs> if you guys want to purchase this, it is available in today's shop update. So head on over to our Etsy shop and see if there's anything you fancy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you are new and haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and join me for more fun soap making adventures. Sometimes they're fun, other times they're stressful, <laughs> but we always get soap out of it. If you have any questions or comments, you can inform me in the comment section down below. And until next time, I hope you guys have a very nice day. And I will smell you later.